how you doing this morning? Good morning. It's Friday morning. I just tried flying some FPV. It worked all right. I'm going to need somebody to spot for me though. I flew, flew a little bit and came in and took it off. But the X-Way worked fine. But um, there's my paint job that I did on this on the top. I mean, it's not bad. I got a little bleed through. I mean, I could have cleaned it up, but frankly, I don't really care that much anymore. I just want some color on it. And then on the bottoms, I just put Strato Surfer and Rule the Skies. <laughs> rule the Skies. I want to like, clear the skies. All right, let's go fly out the rest of this battery. Yeah, the FPV, it's just like, I need somebody to spot for me. I just need someone to spot. It's been so long since I've flown. Ugh. Doesn't help that the sun is so bright. Take it off right now. The sun's always good. Well, shoot. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking I'd just come out here after not flying FBB for probably, it's probably been four years since I've flown FBB. Thinking I'm just gonna strap it on and fly. I had a good picture, I guess. I mean, it could have been clearer, but I think it was fine. I just I wasn't used to it. And I had trouble launching it. So I had to pull the rig down and it was like my head was sweaty. It's 80 degrees, we got humidity. I don't think it's in 100% humidity, but it is humid. I can tell. Kind of bummed. But, I mean, I guess that's a sign of old age, man. You have unreal, unrealistic expectations. <laughs> and I know that has nothing to do with age, but <laughs> it just seems like you think, oh, yeah. You know, it's been five years since I've done X. I can go out there and do it just like I used to be able to do it. No, it's not true. This thing moves... I was flying a little fast too under FPV. And I felt like my pitch was my pitch was off. I just need someone to tell me level, 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 level. My wife's pretty good about doing that. But she hates, she kind of hates coming to fly, to be honest with you. Well, these batteries, these old Admiral batteries, the 3300s that I got, I got a bunch of them. They're all probably, I'm guessing they're at least five, maybe five to six years old. They used to run them in series, the 3300s in series for success. And when I first got the Carbon Z Cub, which was an okay plane, I just didn't, I didn't like the way it looked. Man, when I had mine redone in the green scheme, oh, with the checkerboard underneath the wings and stuff, it was so beautiful. And I went and crashed that damn thing. I should have known better. I knew better. Cause my buddy set it up to his radio so when i bound it he had physically moved all the reset all the control rods and he's never really used asx before and it had asx so it was just i don't know it was my fault my fault i wonder if they're still cutting the old hole oh they took they took the old basket out where I used to fly. 
It's gone. That hole was gone. They said they were going to remove the holes. Huh. Hole number eight is no more. Darn. That was a good little runway there. But I got another runway right there I can use, I guess, except it's kind of close to the dog park. Oh well. You know, you visualize things and... But this thing is not... I mean, it's not like... It's not like flying a radian where you can just kind of... Don't pay attention to it, it'll settle in the cradle and fly. It takes... You gotta, you gotta be on the sticks to fly this. Got a little bit of a breeze, it's not much. It's kind of coming from every which way. Mostly it's a cross breeze, cross coming from that gap. Coming from that gap right there. That's a gapper. I'm happy though, it's been a good Friday so far. I'm gonna, I gotta fly, I'm gonna fly three batteries with this. Bail out, bail out, bail out. This is my low rates. I figured I'd, for FPV, I'd set them kind of low. It's kind of getting the hang of it, seeing what it can do. The camera, I can't get the camera to work on the X-Wave. I pushed the stupid button. I put the, got the memory card in there. But it worked, it worked. You know, you saw the little telemetry there. I had, it was using 25 watt milliwatts. I can see my battery voltage. Cause I'm, I just run in a, I've got a, uh, I got a JST spliced into uh, my adapter going into the battery. I got an adapter with a plug spliced on it, so I don't have to run two batteries. Because I'm flying, I've, I've flown this for eight minutes, a throttle above 25. We just went over, or we're about to go over, and. I'm kind of curious to see if, if, if four minutes was 60%, then eight minutes, out of, I'm guessing, will probably be maybe around 30 or so. And I know that math, you think that math doesn't add up. Man, that thing glides. It glides forever, man. <laughs> that was good. Good grief. Teach Tuco to fetch here, man. We went up to the dog park and walked around. There were no dogs. I knew there wouldn't be any dogs this early in the morning. All right. No matter what, it's coming down. Whoa. Well, I'm gonna have to go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Ah. But uh, the X wave, uh, it looked good. It wasn't wasn't a whole lot of light coming in or anything. There you go. The Strato Surfer strikes FPV. Get yours. I like my stripes on it. I think it looks well. The, the stickers on the bottom are just enough to break it up so it was easy to see. 
But I hope you're having a great day. We're having a great Friday. Thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, I'm I'm floored every time I look at the subscribers. I just I'm I'm honored and I thank you. And you have a great day. Jeff out.